Hello guys, this is Homestar92, part 17 of Oracle of Seasons, and this time I've actually done some research on what we need to do. So as you know, we just got the Goron vase in the last part, and I do apologize for splitting that into two videos, but I kind of there wasn't enough good material to edit. So you want to head to Sunken City with that. Oops, didn't realize that was in the way. It's not anymore though. And then, you want to head over to that vase collector's house. And this trading sequence stuff is actually important. You want to do this. Um, give him the vase. And then, you get his dinner. Which is a fish. And if you had actually been playing the game and talking to people, which I haven't been, you would remember there was a guy trying to get his cat to come down from a tree over here. So we're gonna head over there. And I would stop to equip more rings, but honestly I don't have any worthwhile ones, so it's just not worth my time right now. So we're gonna find the guy who's yelling at his cat. Right here. Give him the fish, or as Peter wants us to call them, the sea kitten. And his cat will come down to eat the fish. He no longer needs his megaphone, and he will give it to you, and you can't use it yet. And I know where I need to go, so let's just see where the closest tree is. Okay, I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to warp the sunken city again. And go back to the vase house again. I probably should have just done that in another video, but that's not the way that I roll. So you have to go back over. Kill the sea kittens. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, search in Google PETA sea kitten. PETA is spelled P-E-T-A in case you didn't know. I suppose if you're not watching from the United States, you might not know. Because that is a United States based organization. And, yeah, you want to go up here. And you want to equip your rocks feather. First, you don't want to do this, but I want to see what's on the other side of this hole. Nothing. Okay, so you want to drop down here. There's no reason to drop down that hole unless it's winter. Alright, then jump over here. And what, what, hey, we, it, it, I need that. Don't, no, no, you can't have my feather. Give me that back. Hey, what, it, it, what, explain this. Fool's ore? No, I want my feather. Come back here, you stupid little jerkwads. Oh, oh, you're gonna bury some treasure. Does that mean you're gonna bury my feather? I think it does. Give me that back. Alright, this is just like the first time you went to Sabrosia. You wanna not get caught. And this time there's two of them, so it's a lot harder. And they split up. Like so. That makes it a bit more difficult. Oh no, oh no, get back over there. And I've already played through this once on a practice run, they don't come back, so... Well, just this part. I haven't gone past this at all, to be perfectly honest. Whoa, run, run, Nick, run. Alright. It's not actually that hard until you get to some of the later screens. At which point it becomes very hard. Oh, that's a suspicious spot. Hmm. These trees kind of look like they have faces. Look. Eye. Eye. Mouth. 
I don't know. I'm bored. This part's very difficult to not get caught in. Okay. And they buried it. Yeah, you better give me my feather back. Oh, they can take their freaking ore. They can have it. I'll shove this ore so far. N n I I'm no, I, I better not go there. Oh, they ran off. They don't want to face Link. So I'll just break your pottery. Alright, I've got a feeling they must be down here because I had to jump to get down here. Hey, a cemetery. That's different. Wait, how can there be a cemetery in the underworld? Can that, can, so can you die after you're already dead? What's down here? I haven't been down here, so I don't know. Nothing I can use. Um, I would go to Google to figure out what I have to do next, but I don't really want to. All I can really think of is this. Hmm. Okay, I don't have any use for you then, buddy. How long do they plan on staying here? I don't know. What's here? Hey, hey, shortcut. This room isn't worthless, see? Remember, part one, I told you this room wasn't worthless. And actually, I need to stop the video. Well, I don't need to stop. I need to pause the video so I can see where I'm supposed to be going. Alright, guys, I do apologize for that, and I do apologize for being in a different place when I stopped, but there was some time in between that. Um, anyway, remember this screen? Yeah, from here, you want to go to the right down the hole, across the platform, Oh, across the platforms, and don't fail like I do. Whew. Oh, well, there's more. What's down here? Oh, okay. I can take that. It's not like it was out of my way or anything, so... I wouldn't really recommend going out of your way for those. Hey! Look where we are now. Well, wasn't that so convenient? Hmm, they really are big fans of Rock's Feather. And here we have the Spring Spirit. I am the spirit of spring. Rock hard buds bloom in spring. It is a season of discovery. To think I can add to the power of the hero with the Triforce symbol. I loan you the power of the spirit of spring. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And now the rod of seasons has more power. Cause power is good. And knowledge is power. So inversely, knowledge is good. Stay in school. And back through this again. Zelda is not supposed to be platformers. They tried that with Zelda 2. Well, to be fair, it wasn't really a platformer, per se. Granted, it wasn't exactly what I'd call good, either. Actually, no, I'm kidding. Zelda 2 actually is a very good game. But I do have a bit of time left. And so... I want to go to the shop, because there's some actually really worthwhile stuff there. If I can find it, I'm totally going the wrong way, and I just know it. Yep, can't do anything here yet. I've only got about 30 seconds. Well, if I go over, I'll just cut out everything between here and the shop. Okay, here we are. 
Alright, and if I decide to cut this, welcome back. And there's a couple things you want to buy here. First, you want to buy this. That'll come in handy later. It's a membership card. To something which will be discussed later. And you might as well buy the ring. I mean, it is a ring. And on that note, I guess I'll see you guys later.